for people that are in this, uh, that, that are, it might be bigger businesses or smaller businesses or leaders within businesses, what are the things that they should be thinking about to completely nail it when it comes to well-being? Yeah, I think the data piece is, is one of those one of those areas. Um, mm -hmm. Listening to our people, we, we do a number of engagement surveys. All organisations do engagement surveys. They they send out questionnaires. What are we doing with that data? Mm -hmm. uh, really digging deep into that data and understanding where the support is needed. Are yeah. we using that data not just on productivity and and not just on on cultural issues, but on well being support and when we look at it, are we actually just putting a program into ticker box or are we putting a program in that the employees actually need? And then what difference are those programs making? So traditionally, when I first started in corporate health 20 years ago or so, it's just throw as many different things at the wall as you can and yeah. hopefully some of them will work. Is it what the individual needs? Is it is it an individual-centric program that's been built or is it a business-centric program that's been built? From my experience, if we build it as an employee-centric program, mm. then the business in the long run will be better off. Absolutely. And I think that it's it's sort of like, I suppose it's like a number of industries that people realise and, you know, wind back a few years, people realise that they have to be doing something. So they they end up doing a bunch of things and we're just sort of chatting offline about that, that the bigger orgs know that they need to be have something in this space. So again they're just doing random things whereas now it's they're realizing that it is actually we're doing this to achieve this and therefore okay let's let's firstly let's have a robust discussion about what this actually is because then we can wind it back instead of saying oh yeah we should go give a talk or give a tool or create a blog or whatever the yeah. things are so i think it's a it's a good um Progression. A of really good examples of looking at that was one organisation was looking at stand-up desks. Now, stand-up desks certainly serve a purpose, but when we looked at the data, the actual activity levels of the team they were looking to put the stand-up desks into was quite good, and it was going to be a substantial investment. Mm. But the data, data was showing a real issue in actually how the employees were feeling supported in their mental health. So mm -hmm. the investment changed from an actual stand-up desk investment into a mental health program, which really sh shifted the dial on, on where it needed to be shifted for that particular group of employees. It's been yeah. really interesting with the COVID shutdowns as well, looking at activity levels. Working at home, the activity levels of the employees has actually dropped. So even though we're at home and we may have more time to go for a walk, et cetera, our incidental activity has yeah. really fallen through the floor because I guess we're not getting up to walk to those meetings. We're not getting up to go and get a cup of coffee at mid morning where we're only walking to the kitchen. So yes. incidental movement had really dropped. Planned mm. activity had actually increased, but overall activity, there was, there was a drop. So what we really looked at doing was creating activity challenges in those periods of lockdowns so that people were mindful mm. of those steps they were taking, et cetera. So right. they're two really good examples of, of where the data can actually give the support to the employees that they need based on their habits and yeah. based on what they're actually, they're giving this information, we yeah. just need to listen to it. Yeah, it's interesting. You wouldn't necessarily think that, I suppose, as, and, and being an employer myself that you say you, 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 you probably would be pretty easy to fall in the trap of thinking, oh, well, you know, the team's at home, they're, they're not distracted, they're cranking out the work and they're getting through a ton of stuff and therefore that's good. But I suppose it is, like you say, when you look at that complete picture, you say, well, is this sustainable? And I think a lot of businesses, certainly ours included, that you notice that, that it's that, you know, lockdown fatigue and then it gets to a point and people are, um, yeah, again, it starts to drag down in in other areas. Yeah, and that, that was also the outcome was if we, we didn't do something about that activity, then there was also impacts on mental health. And then that leads on to, to other areas as well. So it's that ripple effect that if we, mm. if we don't put those interventions in place when they're needed, before they're needed, it creates a whole lot of other issues. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, we'll have to all put our minds to that with all the current COVID situ situation. Yeah, yeah. And, and we... With a lot of our organisations, particularly during the Melbourne uh, lockdown, we introduced a three o'clock, five minute breath series. So any of the uh, organisations that were part of our platforms, we, we came together on a Zoom call and just did a five minute breath series around meditation and just taking that mid afternoon to just 
stop, check in with yourself, breathe, because as you said, people were just plowing through. Yes. So it was just it was just one of those mindfulness pieces that three o'clock your reminder went off and we all came together as a group to just do that five um, minute meditation and, and concentrate on our breath. That's a great idea. I'm a big fan of, of breathing. We've got some um, some good mates of mine that, that run a, a coaching business, which is all about that. And I don't. It's not even just the mindfulness. It's the physiology, and it's probably to your oh, point yeah. of movement as well. That get that activity, get your blood flowing. You know, start to actually get some oxygen to to where it's needed to. 